Hey, Abby. I think that your logo looks pretty good. I um, I almost wonder if, if this X was just not there, if this would be more successful. I don't know if it'd be hard to redo the B, the A, and the B together um, or not to get rid of the X again, um, just because it's a little bit almost too busy. Uh, it's not bad, but if it's not too much trouble, I would almost just have it be without this X in the middle. Um, this Abby B text on the bottom, I think, could use a little improvement. Um, maybe all uppercase with all lowercase letters or like a uppercase bold with like a scripty font for B. Um, I think on one line probably makes sense. You might want to try maybe a shape under here and then making the text, um, making all the text uh, white maybe. So I'm just going to change that to white. Um, that might be a, a nice thing to try. This is the rounded rectangle tool um, underneath the rectangle tool. So you just have to click and hold down to get to that. Um, also, maybe choose a font that doesn't have, um, you know, these spaces in there. Make sure it's like a bold font that doesn't have too much detail. Um, this one might be a little too detailed. Um, it doesn't completely disappear, but it maybe something just bolder that has a solid fill inside would be good. So other than that, um, I think this is looking pretty good. You named it correctly. You have all you have your fonts outlined. Um, everything is in vector format. I can see all the anchor points on everything. Um, it's in black and white. So yeah, now you can do a file save as. Once you get this one looking th perfectly the way you want it to, and you, is definitely at the final stage of what you want it to look like. You can outline your fonts and save it and then do a file save as, save it with CMYK on the, on the file name and then um, start adding like three to four colors at most for the color version. Um, and don't forget to export out JPEG files. So file export, export as. I'll just do a quick export of a JPEG. Use artboards, put this on JPEG. Um, leave the name the same, and then CMYK high resolution here. Um, you can put this on maximum, so it should look like this, and then push OK. And that's how you get your, your JPEG. I'm not going to make one, but anyway, uh, we'll talk to you later.